What's up everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Ricky Sonborn and today we're gonna learn how to play Santeria by Sublime on the good old Uke. But before we dive into the tutorial, make sure to hit that red subscribe button below if you haven't already, it looks a little bit like this. Click it, it will turn gray. Also, if you wanna be notified every single time I upload a video right here on YouTube, make sure to hit the bell icon right next to the subscribe icon. And the biggest thing that you could do, and I would love you for every, if you did this, is give this video a big old thumbs up and also leave some comments in the comment section below letting me know what you thought about this tutorial. Um, yeah, also follow me on Instagram, which is at Ricky Sonboard. We're at 54,000 Instagram family members, and I would love for you to join. So with all that promo -y stuff out of the way, let's go ahead and learn this song. So the chords that you're gonna need for this song are A, B flat, C, D minor, and F. So those are the chords that you need for this song. If you're like Ricky, I know how to play a B flat or an F or D minor. Let's go on to the strumming and the mini play along. I got you. I'm gonna go and put a skip to right here where you can basically skip to whatever section you want in this video. If you know how to play the chords, I wouldn't want you to sit through, uh, you know, a couple minutes of us talking about the finger positioning for each chord. So definitely go ahead and skip to whatever section you want. I also did a full play along that I highly recommend that you watch. I'll link it right up here. Also put it in the description below. It'll just say, click here for full play along for Santeria. Uh, definitely go check that video out. It has the lyrics and chords on the screen, so it's super helpful. But if you're like Ricky, I don't know what an F or D minor or B flat is, don't worry, this is, why, this is why this video exists. We're gonna go step by step on how to play each chord along with the finger positioning, and then we'll talk about strumming. But before we talk about where we're gonna put our fingers for each chord, let's take a look at our uke and the top string. We're gonna number that the fourth string. The next one down is going to be the third. The next one down is going to be the second. And the last one at the bottom is going to be the first. So it's going to be four, three, two, one. And now let's look at the neck of the uke. And you see these lines right here. This is going to be the first fret, second fret, third fret, fourth fret, fifth fret, and then so on. So if you need a little bit more time, just taking a look at your uke and just seeing exactly memorizing what the strings are numbered and also the frets, uh, that will be super beneficial when we talk about finger placement for each chord coming right up. All right, so as you can see, I moved a little bit to my left. That is because I'm going to put a visual representation of where you need to put your fingers for each chord right here, um, which I think will be really easy or easier for you to understand where to put your fingers for each chord if you can actually see them. So the first chord that we're gonna learn is the A chord and how I like to play this one is I like to take my pointer finger and I like to place it on the third string, first fret. And then I take my middle finger and I place it on the fourth string, second fret. And it should sound like this. The next chord that we're gonna talk about is the B flat chord and how I like to play this one is I like to take my pointer finger and I like to go over the second and first string, so the bottom two strings, second and first string on this first fret. And then I take my middle finger and I go over the third string on the second fret. And then I take my ring finger and I go on the fourth string, third fret, and it should sound like this. The next chord that we're gonna learn is the C chord and how I like to play this one is I like to take my ring finger and I like to place it on the first string, third fret, and it should sound like this. The next chord is the D minor chord and how I like to play this one is I like to take my pointer finger and I like to place it on the second string, first fret, and then I take my middle finger and I go over the top two strings, the fourth and third string on the second fret. And it should sound like this. The last chord that we're gonna need for this song is the F chord and how I like to play this one is I like to take my pointer finger and I like to place it on the second string, first fret. And then I take my middle finger and I place it on the fourth string, second fret and it should sound like this.
So those are all the chords that we need for this song. If you do need a little bit more time practicing the positioning for each chord and also transitioning between each chord, make sure to pause this video, give yourself enough time. There's no rush. It can take as much time as you want, just getting really comfortable with putting the finger placements and then the transitioning between each chords, because uh, that's going to be super, super helpful and beneficial to get that down now before we talk about strumming, which is coming right up. All right, so now that we've learned the different chords that we need for this song, let's actually learn how we actually play the song with the strumming. So the way I strummed in the full play along, again, I'll link it in up here and also linked in the description below, was with a down, chuck, up, up, chuck, up, up, chuck, up, up, chuck, up. So let's go ahead and sort of analyze this strumming pattern a little bit more. So let's put our F chord down and you're just going to do a down, chuck, up, up, chuck, up, up, chuck, up, up, chuck, up. So let's do it one more time with the F chord. In three, two, one, down, chuck, up, up, chuck, up, up, chuck, up, up, chuck, up. Let's do it one more time. In three, two, one, down, chuck, up, up, chuck, up, up, chuck. Now, if you're like, Ricky, I don't really want to do chucking or I'm just not at that level yet to add a chuck in the strumming, you can always just do a down, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. So instead of where you're doing the chuck, you just add a down strum. So again, if you don't want to do the chuck, it's just going to be a down, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down. So you're gonna do that strumming pattern for each chord. So it's gonna go from F in the for the intro, it's gonna go F, down, chuck, up, up, chuck, up, up, chuck, up, up, chuck, up. Then you're gonna to go to A, down, chuck, up, up, chuck, up, up, chuck, up, up, chuck, up. And then you're gonna to go to D minor, down, chuck, up, up, chuck, up, up, chuck, up, up, chuck, up. And then you're gonna to go to C, down, chuck, So I'm gonna go ahead and play those four chords and with the strumming pattern as it would normally be in this song. So you can kind of get a sense of what it would sound like in three, two, one. I don't practice centurion. I ain't got no crystal ball. If I had a million dollars that I, I spent it all. So that is how everything sounds put together, but let's go ahead and talk about the mini play along. Again, the full play along will be linked in the description below, also up in the I if you want to go to check that video out. Highly recommend to leave some love on that video as well. I really like how it came out and sounded. Uh, but yeah, let's go and see how everything gets packaged together in the mini play along. Again, it's just a little portion of the full play along. Go check that video out. And yeah, let's go ahead and listen to the mini play along in three, two, one. I don't practice Santeria, I ain't got no crystal ball If I had a million dollars, but I, I'd spend it all If I could find that Hannah and that Sancho that she's found But I'd pop a cap in Sancho and I, I'd slap her down all right, so congratulations. You now know how to play Santeria by Sublime on the good old uke. If you did like this video and it was helpful, make sure to give this video a big old thumbs up. Also subscribe if you haven't already. Click the bell notification if you wanna be notified every single time I upload a video right here on YouTube. And lastly, follow me on Instagram. It's just at Ricky Sonborn. I would love for you to join the Instagram fam. And that's pretty much it. Again, huge thank you to Enya for sending me this beautiful uke. This is their uh, blue EUC 25D, I do believe that is the model. Yes, EUC 25D. I'll put it a link in the description below where you can go find this uke and all their other ukuleles. Uh, they make an awesome, awesome range of ukes and they're one of my favorites, so highly recommend um, getting their ukes. I'm actually gonna be doing a full review on some of my favorite ukes that I have from Enya in an upcoming video, so make sure to stay tuned for that. Uh, again, thank you so much for watching this video. I really do love making these videos and hanging out with you for these 10-15 minutes um, and just kind of relaxing and just 
playing Yuke. So thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate you being here and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.